This is the second episode of Bug Bounty POCs. In this episode, I will be explaining one of my bugs where I was able to expose private project Im images using an IDOR. So let's look at the summary. So during project creation, uh, the photos are fetched using a GraphQL query and there are photos like photos in processing, there are photos like public photos, there are photos in draft. So this was like processing photos which are not public. And these photos were fetched uh, using a GraphQL query. So, and that query contains a photo ID. So I thought, why not let's try to change this photo ID. And I tried that thing and it worked. So attacker can view the other project's photos, uh, which are not public. So let's look at uh, uh, the explanation. So this is where you can create the project, right? So there is a feature uh, where you will you, you can go there, you can add the, um, the data about your project, the project title, the description and everything. And this is where you can add your project's image, right? So you will have to go there, drop an image or you can click there and select an image. And this is the HTTP request for this image creation. It, it's it, uh, the, the functionality is using, the feature is using GraphQL and this is a mutation. Uh, by the name create project image and in the variables you can see it contains a project id and this project id's value is base64 encoded so if you will decode this value it is actually project and a uh, number assigned to it so uh, this is a very simple flow of how a, an image is attached to a project right now let's look at how these photos are fetched like now uh, see a user has uploaded an image right uh, at this point but how that image will be fetched right uh, so let's look at that uh, again one more request so this is that request it, it's a query and it's a, it's it's like uh, for getting the photo so, and it uh, this query also contains a variable and the variable here is uh, it's again uh, id and this id is again base 64 encoded and the value is uh, after decoding is photo and a number so I thought, why not let's try to change this number because uh, this is not project number. This is photo number, right? So let's try to make it 63 uh, after 763. Let's make it 764 or 765, right? I, I did these changes uh, in this request. So I did like 765 basically base 64 encoded this value and put that value in this request and in the repeater in the bob suite repeater uh, send this request and i got this response and you can see the status here that the status is processing right and this means that like if you will go to this url and you can see someone else's like um, photos which are not in public state right now like processing is it uh, something like you know uh, state draft state right so you can go to this url and see the other project uh, people's like their other projects which are the projects are in unpublishable state but you can still see them so let's look at the reporting now so this uh, uh, on 7 july 2022 i reported this bug to around 12 months ago and on 8 july i made a comment there that there is an increase in attack surface because there is not only one place from where you can upload these pictures. There are two places where you can upload pictures and in the same way the photos were fetched. So basically there are two features which are using this uh, GraphQL, uh, this query and mutation, right? On 15 July, the hacker and Trager have tried this uh, bug and on 14th October, uh, July, August, September, August, September, October, uh, after around three months, I got paid uh, about the and on 19 November completed the retest and on 7 December uh, the bug got resolved. So this is the summary of explanation that found a HTTP request to create an image for project and the query for getting the photo contains an ID. So I changed this ID by plus one or plus two and got the image URLs for unpublished projects. And this is the reporting timeline reported via HackerOne on 7 July 2022. On 15 July, it got triaged by HackerOne. On 14th October, it got rewarded. And there was a change in severity because it first, uh, at first it was medium 4.3. And that was like, uh, it, it's pretty low uh, because the impact is little higher than medium 4.3 as per the CVSS version 3. So they updated it to medium 6.5. And on 7 December 2022, uh, completed the retest and the bug got resolved. So that's all from my side. Thank you.